Yeah. Thank you for the introduction. Now you can see my screen. Yeah, you can see my screen. Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the chat for the introduction. My name is Mira Tanasambat. I'm executive director for the partnership for better health in Cambodia. So today I am happy to share about the, some work related to the social health protection that can uh, find the opportunity for the open health in, uh, incident management information system in Cambodia. So uh, in Cambodia, we have about uh, 181,000 uh, square kilometer. And uh, right now the total population about uh, 15 million. And uh, we have the uh, GDP Uh, per capita income was in uh, 1,000, about 1,000, that ran uh, 136 in among of the 187 country in the world. So we have the GDP growth rate uh, up and down, and uh, right now we have the GDP about the 7%, and also the GDP growth per capita about 1,200 in uh, 2015. So we can see the, the, the GDP will grow up from 2005 to, to now. For the high system, Cambodia, we have uh, reforms in uh, the Ministry of Health do the reform in uh, 1994. That came from, pay, from the administrative base health service delivery to the population base uh, accessibility based on the health system organization. That mean the, 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 the health facility will cover by the total number of the population by the administrative district. You can see the, the, the picture that the reform that made in uh, to, uh, 1994. So that we had the central level and then provincial level and uh, district level that cover the referral hospital and the health center. So uh, one health center we cover about the uh, 100,000 population and uh, refers hospital is uh, one uh, operational district by some time to administrative district or one administrative district. And since uh, we had the reform in uh, 1994, right now the Ministry of Health have implemented the uh, three plan already. So we have the, the first national health strategy plan that from 2005 and 2010 that time that we had the health support program we call uh, HSSP1 that uh, from 2005 to 2010 this is a program to support the implementation of the national uh, strategy plan we call uh, HSP1 and then we had the uh, HSP2 from uh, 2010 to 2015 and a uh, health support program phase two, HSSP2, so uh, cover from the 2010, 2015. And uh, right now the Ministry of Health still implement the HSP3 that from uh, 2016, 2020. And the program we change the name from the HSSP to the HEQIP, that means uh, health equity and quality improvement program. So this is a five year national high project that support the HSP3. So in this uh, HXFIP, we have the fund we call the pool fund that uh, HXFIP pool fund that some fund from the government and some from the donor. So you can see that the donor that put the fund to the government like the World Bank, the fund from Australia, Koika, K, uh, KIW from uh, Germany. So about 80 million from the donor and then the government from like uh, 94 million from the government. So as a percentage, right now donor have the uh, 40% and the government pay the 60% to implement the HSP through from the 2016 and 2020. This is uh, the fund that we support the five year project in Cambodia. So in the uh, component, we have several components that are from one to four. 
the first one is about the Hassan Janning has a bit like a subcomponent, has a third and the hospital that spent about 70 million dollars and improve financial protection and equity is as a kind of component that linked to the social health protection that we have about the 70 million for five years. And a component three ensure ensuring the sustainability and responsive health system with a subcomponent that uh, about the, the 30 million. And a component four for the emergency response, but not uh, allocate fund for it because they have the, their own uh, national program. So in uh, Ministry of Health, we have the organogram that the top one is the uh, Ministry of Health, and then we have the technical working group for health. The technical working group for health is will meet every month to oversee all the health implement program through the egg equip. And then we have the central department that under the Ministry of Health large uh, DPI for the department planning and health information system, department of finance, department of uh, policy management, etc. And then we have national program large uh, maternal child health program, tuberculosis program, malaria program, HIV AIDS control program. And also we have the donor side that uh, some donor as a donor, some as a development partner. And at Provincial, we have the Provincial Health Department that implemented of the health policy. And then under the Provincial Health Department, PhD, we have like a Provincial Health Hospital. Uh, provincial Referral Hospital. And after that, we have the operational district. In each operational district can have the one uh, referral hospital and a money health center. And then we have, we have the help out at the community level and uh, health volunteer group, etc. This is an organogram of the health structure in Cambodia. This is a detailed organogram that we have the minister. After the minister, we have the secretary of state and uh, under Secretary of State, and we have the Cabinet of the Minister, uh, and then we have the General Director General for the Health, Director General for the Administrative and Finance, and so also for the inspection. And uh, each, each General Director, they have uh, sub uh, department under their responsible. And then in the provincial, we have like a 25 provincial high department with 25 provincial hospital. And now we have a 94 operational district that cover 197 administrative districts. So the, the operational high district is uh, cover 197 administrative district. Some one, some, uh, or they cover two operational uh, administrative district. And then we have 102 referral hospital, <coughs> about 1,100 health center, and 100 health post at the community level. So the overall uh, structure for the Ministry of Health. For the high security fund in Cambodia, right now we have three main three ministry that implement this uh, social health insurance, or we call a social health protection. That uh, put uh, national security fund under the Ministry of Labor and Vocational Training that uh, cover like uh, medical care, Sydney maternity and uh, invalidity survival. And also we have the Ministry of Social Affair and Social Affair that cover the social incident for the civil servant. And we had the Ministry of Health that cover for the poor and the informal sector that uh, implement program like a community based health incident and a healthy fund program that cover for the medical care at the facility. So we have three main uh, ministry, and this uh, three main ministry under the board that 
come from the Ministry of Economic and Finance. For the institutional structure for the current social security system in, in Cambodia, we have like that we have three ministries that uh, social affairs, uh, labor, and uh, Ministry of Economic and Finance. And uh, each, uh, each uh, national fund, they have the board director, and then they have the project director, and then they have the fund. So right now we have the four fund in Cambodia uh, and uh, one under the Ministry of Health that not the uh, only health insurance but not national fund yet. So. so this uh, the the in, uh, institutional for the health insurance in Cambodia that for the National Fund for the Veteran, National Social Security Fund for the Civil Servants, under the Ministry of Social Affairs. These are two under the Ministry of Social Affairs. And then we have the National Security Fund that for the private sector and also for the informal. And uh, we have the, under the Ministry of Health, we have the Payment certification agency that we certify for the for the implementation of the social fund in Cambodia. This is the structure of the social protection system in Cambodia that we call uh, we have two level that social security and uh, social assistance. For the social security, have the pension, have insurance. Uh, employment in Chile and unemployment and disability. For the social assistance, we have like an emergency response, human capital development, professional training, welfare for the vulnerable people. So this is the system that overall system in Cambodia for the social health protection system. For the management structure under the healthcare system, as the, I mentioned before, we have the, right now we have the Ministry of Health that the major implementation for the health strategy plan that we have three plan already from the HSP1, HSP2, and HSP3. And then we have the Ministry of Economic and Finance uh, and Development Partner. So for the the Ministry of Health, mostly we implement for the healthy fund that so far we have the external third party for the healthy fund implementer and uh, third party for the healthy fund operator. So for the healthy implementer, it to uh, ensure the, the monitoring of the mechanism and uh, implementation of the Health fund in Cambodia, and for the HFO right now, uh, before the third party HFO implement by the NGO, non non organization government, but right now the HFO will have, we don't have any more HFO. Uh, the hospital will implement the healthy fund themselves, but we have the healthy fund promoter that can help to advocate and in support the hospital to implement the high fund. At the, the Ministry of Health, we had the DPHI that had the monitoring group and uh, planning <coughs> unit, information unit, you can see the, the acronym we can put here that uh, planning information unit. PIU it under that can cover the implementation of the Haiti fund and at the provincial department we have sub monitoring group 
and steering committee that Robinsa Technical Working Group 4 had that can uh, oversee the implementation of the high fund at the facility and uh, through the Ministry of Health. And uh, Ministry of Finance plan to create the National Social Security Council they already have established and uh, plan to cover all the funds in Cambodia like uh, for the civil servant, for the private sector and uh, informal sector. So all the scheme will under the and as I see that uh, National Social Security Council and uh, we will have the PCA to certify all the implement the social health protection in Cambodia before they make the payment to the provider and then we have government bought a chief bond but this is uh, still uh, in a plan in a practice we not yet integrate it together This is man, uh, management structure for the health care really too about the health incident that single payer that we have like four right now we have four scheme that implement under the health incident health social protection first is healthy fund that for the poor and uh, health incident for the worker and employee employee that through the NSSF under the Ministry of Labor and uh, Vocational Training and health incident for the public servant also under the Ministry of Labor and health incident for the informal sector that under the Ministry of Labor. So in D4 we have one under the, the Ministry of Health and three under the Ministry of Labor. And then we have the facility that implement all these three uh, payments for the beneficiary and the claim process through the the payment that before they get the claim we have the third party to certify all the correct so that they can pay so this uh, the control for the claim payment right now under the pca per payment certified agency that just created in uh, 2018 and then we have a development partner that provide technical assistance to the board director and also contribute and governance to the implementation. So the health facility will do the contract with the Ministry of Health and the board director to implement this uh, social health protection program at the health facility to get the payment. So in Cambodia, we have the incident tie like a compulsory that under like a private sector through the salary or employee that are under the National Social Security Fund under the Ministry of Labor. We have the voluntary incident through the community based health incident and a private health incident. This is This uh, diagram so the relationship between the uh, health fund and beneficiary and also the healthcare provider. So you, uh, the healthcare provider will get the contract to provide the, the service to the beneficiary and then the government will pay to the provider so through the health fund scheme. So this uh, this uh, the relationship between the provider and uh, health fund scheme and uh, beneficiary. So, so right now, health fund scheme cover 100% in Cambodia all the facility. This is a function of the health fund have that uh, the uh, hospital will get the contract through uh, Ministry of Health and then uh, they have like uh, service and some will pay by the non-poor and for the poor will pay by the government. So in uh, beneficiary, we divide into the 
poor and non poor. So if they, they are non poor, they will pay by themselves. If they are poor, people that will get the pay by the government through the fee waiver. So this is uh, the function. And donor will put the money into the, the pool fund, as I mentioned before, like uh, 40 and 60%. This is uh, a cascade of national and sub-national and community sector involved in uh, management, how to identify the poor. So for identify the poor, we have the key player that the Ministry of Planning will conduct the pre-ID survey every two years. So every two years, Ministry of Planning will conduct the pre-ID survey to identify the poor for the beneficiaries that they have uh, from the central, we have the Ministry of Planning, and uh, at the provincial level, we have the provincial Department of Planning, and the district team, also commune, commune council that involved to identify who are the poor and uh, the representative group at the village. So this the the structure that they conduct the poor to identify the poor every two years. The current recording system for the high incident income, we have two major third high funds through under the patient management and registration system, PMI, that I present before. And uh, this uh, was uh, OVC and implemented by the PCA under the Ministry of Health. PCA is a payment certification agency just created in uh, 2018. And the National Security Fund. For the private sector scheme, they implement the social health social protection information system (HISP), but this is still in the pilot, not yet uh, scaled out. Mostly, the Ministry of Planning and as I do the the paperwork or exam for the report right now. And in future, national in the future, uh, national. Social Protection Council plan to create all the social funds into the one program. And then they will plan to create the National Health Incident Information System, only one that can record for all. And uh, to support the university health coverage also through the health incident system. So this uh, integrate idea for the future that they will integrate all the funds that right now we have separate for the uh, national fund into the one social incident fund, but uh, still not yet happened. So for the social protection structure at the policy level, we have the National Social Protection Council, and then we have the executive committee, secretary, and subcommittee, and then we have a regular level that social security regulator, and we have operational level that social assistance, security fund, etc. So this is uh, social protection structure for the policy maker. And uh, we also have the national social health protection, health protection uh, framework and strategy plan for five years that uh, aim to improve information framework for the evidence-based social protection. The third is integrate uh, monitoring and evaluate process into the design social assistance program and policy to ensure equal assessment of the result and identification potential improvement and in the, increase the frequency and geographic coverage to identify the poor household program that ID poor, target mechanism and promote on demand registration and allowing gradually involved in single registry that the uh, Ministry of Interior plan to have the one uh, population registry that can have the idea that you all a program, but not yet happen. And uh, incorporate social protection module within the Cambodia Social Economic Survey that serve as a resource for assessing impact and coverage of social high protection. So these are uh, the, the three objectives that uh, Relate to the information framework for the social hypertension in Cambodia. And right now we have the registration system that, like uh, Ministry of Planning, do the 
free ID that register all the poor and issue the card we call uh, ID poor card. And when the people who are poor go to the health service, they can't get the service. And uh, no need to pay the government, we'll pay on behalf of the poor. And then we have the, the four program like uh, National Social Fund for the Civil Servant, National Fund for Veterans, National Social Fund for the Private Sector and Informal Sector, and uh, People with a Disability Fund. So this, uh, they have separate system to register their member. And uh, Ministry of Interior plan to have the general population registration and uh, national unit IDs. In teachers achieve and go, the government will reform identification system that to using the biometric information to prevent overlap any entry by a different program. And uh, government will link the new identification system with other system like uh, pre-ID with the Ministry of Planning and the with the Ministry of Health. So we will plan to have the one uh, single identification system that under the Ministry of Interior. We have some challenge that through the implement of the information and uh, registration system with different different uh, fund, different programs. So we have overlap, overlap, overlap work, uh, repeat work with the different agency that uh, use more is uh, more resource for the registration and uh, multiple uh, registration also and identification system it's a cost for the each program so this is a challenge that are uh, different uh, system that implement in cambodia for the health social protection so that's all thank you yes thank you dr sambal for the presentation uh, we would like to ask, um, how do you think can open MS be used in your country? Uh, thanks for the question, and uh, it had to answer a hard question. Because the uh, uh, health insurance mostly under the Ministry of Labor and uh, under the National Security Fund. Right now, they have their own system, but uh, not yet well uh, implement due to the larger uh, political concern because in the future we are, the ministry of economic and finance plan to integrate all in one all the four national fund to one and also the one program one uh, information system but not yet not yet happened there's still more more time to work and uh, they will they will uh, explore what the best way for the alternate to uh, facilitate to integrate all the four funds into the one single fund so that for now I don't think we have any opportunity yet for the open I um, I, I for the data collection of but maybe at the large uh, in Indonesia for the trending etc we'll explore more yeah. uh, thank you Dr. Um, how about in universities? Um, are there plans in universities? Sorry, not here. The sound not good. Again, can you repeat Hello. again? Yes, can you hear me better now, the person back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, uh, I was asking, um, what do you think is the opportunity of introducing open image to students in the university there in Cambodia? Uh, for the teaching, maybe it's, uh, it, it's good. And also because I also teach for the health information system for the master degree, also the bachelor degree at the, in Cambodia. And the master degree course, it starts this month, June. And uh, we are aided by the large around uh, October. So we have the three month teaching for the semester of the semester two of the master degree of the hospital administration. So we can integrate concept or the topic of the open IMIA 
that kind of student they can learn, but I don't know what uh, can do the uh, what the way that we can integrate into the current uh, curriculum. Yeah. Thank you, Professor Sambat. Uh, there are no questions coming in so far, Professor Sambat. I guess we can wrap up this session. Yes, uh, thank you for sharing your time and expertise with us, Dr. Sambat, and we hope to hear for uh, we hope to hear more developments from Colombia. Thank you.